Check this out. I was chasing the Northern Lights recently when something crazy happened. Something so rare that in my 20 years of doing astrophotography, this was only the second time I've ever captured this. Ever. Seriously. Like, I never thought I would ever get this again on camera. A persistent meteor train is a bright meteor that leaves a long-lasting afterglow in the sky that can last minutes or possibly even hours. These fireballs burn through the night sky, leaving a glowing trail that's created when metals from the meteor reacts with the ozone in the upper atmosphere, releasing heat and light. I dug through my archives to find the footage from the first time I photographed a persistent train back on October 8th, 2013. I was in the desert about two hours east of San Diego shooting a motion controlled day to night time lapse of the Milky Way on my dynamic perception slider. My shot was just over halfway done when my friend Mike and I both witnessed a huge fireball of a meteor. This was a pretty good sized meteor that burned through the southwestern sky right next to the Milky Way and it appeared to have left a ghostly trail behind that was just barely visible with our eyes but only for a minute or two. At the time, I had never seen anything like this before or even heard of a persistent meteor train. Once I got home and started reviewing the footage on my computer, I was completely blown away with what I was seeing. Not only did I capture that eerie afterglow, but it lasted for at least 125 frames after the meteor strike. That's just over 30 minutes of shooting long exposure photographs. Not only did my slider shot capture it, but I also had an 85mm shot going that captured it up close. What a trip to see something like this and to capture it so close up is just crazy. When going over the photos from the more recent persistent train, I saw that the trail lasted for over 80 frames. Unfortunately, I didn't realize my camera was still capturing the glow and stopped that shot a bit early, so I don't know exactly how long my camera would have picked this one up for. Oh, and what do you think this is? It only showed up in one frame of the time lapse, and when I zoom in on it, you can see a bunch of different colors in the trail. At first, I thought it might be a plane or a helicopter, but it doesn't show up in any of the other frames before it or after this one. It's just in this one single frame. So weird, so cool. One of the things I find really interesting about this time lapse is, is how the trail of the vaporized rock can form these weird shapes as the high atmospheric winds blow them around. You can see the train in both of my shots twist around due to this. It's pretty cool. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, I want to go out and photograph a persistent meteor train. <laughs> well, here, let's start with a couple of tips you can try to increase your odds of capturing a PMT on camera. First and foremost, you're going to need to shoot from a location with dark skies. Both of my meteor trains were captured from desert locations under dark Bortal 2 skies after the moon had set. Secondly, you're going to want to shoot around the peak of a meteor shower. Some of the best showers that produce fireballs and persistent trains are the Leonids, the Perseids, and the Orionids. Lastly, you're gonna need to have some patience for this one. <laughs> lots and lots of patience. Like I said, the last time I captured this was 11 years ago. Which brings me to the craziest part of this whole story. When I was making this video, I realized I had captured both of these meteor trains on the same exact day, 11 years apart. The first shot was on October 8th, 2013, and the second one was also on October 8th of 2024. That's some crazy, crazy shit, man. The same day, 11 years apart. I can't believe that. You can't make this shit up. It was so cool to capture this again after all these years, especially with the Aurora and Star Arc fading away in the shot. I spent so many amazing nights under the stars in 2024, and I can't wait to see what I capture in this next year. Anyways, thanks for watching till the end. I'll see you in the next one.